what's going Facebook's not showing Got it But I'm sure it will be there 2018 V-Class Rumble Brought to you by Taylor Guitars And I see it now Every time you post and I post, it doubles up. Have you noticed that it doubles up? Yeah. V-Class Rumble. Rumble. It's a rumble time. Sodeva, Moki Obi, Sodeva, do you yumi desu ka? Good evening and welcome to the V Class Rumble. <laughs> Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mike Ruggirelli, your host. Welcome to the first edition of the V-Class Rumble. And what that means, we are in collaboration with Taylor Guitars, and we are going to be talking about this guitar and that guitar. And these are these are the V-Class guitars. They are the from V-Class Taylor. Guitars. Yeah, they are. So uh, right over here, what is your name again? Uh, Fred Sanchez. We got Mr. Fred Sanchez as our co-host. Say what's up, Jason. <laughs> My name's Jason Thomas, by the way. And uh, I'd like to thank our, our new sponsor. <laughs> I'll explain them later. <laughs> our new sponsor for uh, in collaboration with Taylor Guitars. We're very happy to have them on board. And, cheers, uh, cheers. Also, we have a new sponsor to announce, too. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we actually, we're representing our new new people here. That's, we are. Yeah. You're, you're wearing the Taylor shirt. The I'm shirt. wearing the iconic guitar yeah. shirt. We're, we're, we're all we, uh, we we did pick up Taylor, or 
we picked up iconic guitars. Yes, Theory Thursday. We we have this new guitar that you're going to hear very soon. But we also are episode 50. So it's it's really nice that uh, we didn't plan this necessarily. The Not necessarily. It just kind of fell into place. And we do a lot of planning. We try to. So yeah. the planets were aligned. Episode 50. <laughs> we're here to say what is up and it's his sophomore episode this is the guitar player from manganista motel blackouts the sarah mesm band and the dirty elves no i'm sorry no. it was the dirty pee pee no no dirty uh we just call blue it the flu. flu blue sky no i was blue just sky kidding flu, dude. blue sky Come flu on. hi steve i wanted yeah. to re i wanted to package that a certain way so there might have been some inquiries however Welcome to the show, Mr. Ryan McMullen. Hi, everybody. It's great to be back. Thanks Give for having me. Pound that, baby. Oh, yeah. And oh, yeah. I think you also have a little bit or a lot to do with Taylor Guitars as well. Yeah, I've been working there a long time, uh, 13 years now, and, uh, you know, happy to be able to help kind of hook you guys up with uh, Jay and the guys on the marketing team and, and uh, also be here myself to, you know, play these awesome guitars and, and be here a part of Taylor Guitars. Yeah. Here, here. Here, here. Let's do here, a little cheers, here, here. everybody out there in uh, Facebook and YouTube land. If you want to do a nice, is this would this wouldn't be a commemorative cheers? I guess they're always commemorative cheers. But Across episode fifty, Dave, cheers to Taylor you. Guitars, cheers. Singular Sound, Kurt Mangan, Kurt Mangan Strings, also Mad Hatter, Hatter Guitar baby. Product. God, you guys and, have so many sponsors. Right? I know. We're, keep up with. We're, we're like a NASCAR. We're a NASCAR, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, and you point. know we love you, Don. <laughs> it's like that's what it's and, and guitar tune up. Tune Up San Diego, yeah, also baby. SWR Video Productions. And if you guys get a chance, hit that Patreon. Go to our website. We offer uh, uh, gear, uh, gear, pieces of gear and also strings. So go to our website. If you want to beat buddy, type in that Theory 10. Theory 10. Go Theory to the 10 website. on the checkout. 10%, 10 baby. 10 you, uh, dude, say what's up to Jeff Bonham. Speaking of singular sound, beat buddy, this is... Our drummer of the show, and he helps us get the job done laying down them stinky beats. So if you were wondering what is this greasy groove right here, this is comfortably numb off the Pink Floyd package that's available on uh, singularsound.com. Back to you, Mr. Jason Thomas. Well, I think that's it, but basically, yeah, thanks for, thanks for tuning in, and we have a great show for you today. Uh, we're talking about these these new invention well, Dude, the, the v-class the series. v-class series new yeah. invention new, it's, uh, 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 exclusively to taylor and it 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 does a lot of uh well interesting i things. can take it from He's there he's gonna take it from here hi everybody <laughs> let me uh, jump in as the taylor guy here so what mike has right here is a beautiful k14 ce builders edition um, well, I'll talk about the V class in just a minute. This is the K14. I'm actually have playing a 914 CE. He's got the K14 CE Builders Edition. So the V class. I'm just going to jump right in. Yeah. Is dude, that all right? Is, the is water right? is warm. The water is warm. It, you know, I stuck my toe in. It's delicious. <laughs> it's delicious. So anyway, uh, the V class is is an idea that came uh, from our master builder Andy Powers. He was looking for uh, a way to kind of enhance, continually enhance and improve sound um, acoustic guitars for about 150 years have had a similar bracing pattern that's called an x brace uh, and it's been a, uh, has continued to be is a, a great way to brace the top of a guitar um, andy over that time uh, tweaks were made to how that uh, shape was done and what you can get out of the sound there was an inherent um, issue however with the way that you collect the sound in order to get a large volume out of a guitar, you want to have kind of a soft, really um, flexible top, kind of like a banjo. When you hit a banjo, it's going to make a really loud sound sure. and then kind of decay pretty pretty quickly because of the soft nature of the drum head. Mm -hmm. um, conversely, if you want a so uh, the note to sustain for a long period of time, this is like very an very guitar, uh, very key point right here. Continue, my brother, because this I, I have a big big cherry to. to to pop, to put okay. on the top. Wow. All right, a cherry to so put we're on gonna, the top. I'll take my time but here. But no, I guess. this whole sustain method, this what you're describing. I, mm -hmm. I, I just wanted to shine some light because this is what excites me, and this is why I'm so totally. freaked out. Yeah, that's why you've been having so much fun, isn't it? <laughs> totally. <laughs> so uh, with the X brace, if you were going to uh, get more volume out of the guitar, you would lose inherently have to sacrifice and sustain based on the way that the the, the shape and the way that the guitar was braced on the inside. 
Uh, the opposite direction, if you go the other way and you get sustained, kind of like an electric guitar, you're going to get a note that runs forever. However, that solid nature, the really strong nature right between the bridge and the strings, if that's really tight, um, you're going to lose volume and sacrifice that. What we have here is called the V-Class series, or the, the V-Class. It's actually, instead of an X brace, it's a V brace that runs up the center of the guitar, thus providing uh, structure and rigidity where the strings are, however, making the top looser. Uh, so it was something that, you know, again, not after 150 years of very successful use of an X brace and many more years. I mean, the X brace is a fantastic I, uh, design, something that uh, works f great. The V class, however, offers a lot of uh, new opportunities as far as volume, uh, sustain, uh, and there's an inherent in tuneness with the guitar now. Very which is, I think, what you're going to significant, Very significant, ladies and gentlemen. Ryan, please explain. Okay, so relative to how the sound wave is moving through the guitar... Wow, we just jumped right into this, didn't we? Jump um, in, baby! What sound, is wow? Relative to the way that the sound is now coming through the guitar, because the V-brace is actually providing a center point of, of uh, rigidity relative to the soft sides, it's actually kind of helping control the sound waves. So instead of, if you would imagine... Uh, a pool and you're throwing a bunch of rocks into a pool and you're seeing all of the w sound waves kind of bouncing around Lots the water you don't have you don't have a kind of a cohesive nature of the wave imagine now that the way the the sound wave coming through the guitar is more true so like a, a a diver jumping into a pool one person jumping into the pool and the sound wave um, ripples away resonating yeah. from that point having that true nature overtones that might have gotten in the way uh, in the past or have been something that would get, catch your ear are dissipate and it's actually more of a true in tune sound. The notes actually ring truer together because they're not fighting alternative uh, sound waves. Yeah. I love, you sound like a scientist, my friend. Let me get the, yeah, let me get this straight. So basically, those who know me know I'm not a scientist. <laughs> but no, that was that was an eloquent, very eloquent explanation. Thank you. And Thank uh, you. I, I would just like to add Andy Powell, Boyle, Powers, Powers. Powers. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. It Mr. is Theory Thursday. Well, Hi, yeah. everybody. <laughs> well, I, I'm actually really, really uh, trying my best to uh, have some couth and to be very yeah. focused right now. However... Couth it up, dude. Yeah, I know. Mr. <laughs> Powers, boy, oh boy, am I, I, I feel very happy playing this thing because uh, I have a, a slight piece, maybe like demonstrate some Please. of these uh, these. I hope, these you, I hope you would. That's why we're here. You, you know, what I, what I experienced is that whether I'm... My first impression hanging out with Jay at the shop a couple of weeks ago was the harmonics. And I was like, wow, okay, I really hear something more, <laughs> especially here. And then I started getting a couple different intervals just in the second fret. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that only exists right here on this guitar. And hopefully many more to come. Oh, many more to come. More importantly, uh, the the uh, the certain part of my body changed when that happened, <laughs> and uh, the piece of music that I'm going to show you, it's I'm going to basically drone some E and some A strings, and I'm going to do a couple staccato lines. Even right there, did you hear my takeoff? If I accentuate, if I accent a little harder, like I did on the first note. It tends to set precedence and creates a pad underneath you. It's quite wonderful. I, I'm really... I was just... <laughs> it, it makes me mad! I'm dropping picks. I'm, here's the thing. When you're relaxed and you can hear things... When I say you can hear things, I'm, it's, it, this guitar makes you listen to yourself. I found myself playing slower and listening and doing this more like, more of an accompaniment style of playing. It's almost dictating some things. Just some voicings that were really stimulating. And I, I bailed the pick, this is just my flesh tone. Bone tone. And the, these, uh, I must say, the one phrase that I have been just dying to use is Stradivarius. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, really, this is... It's a lot of fun, isn't it? It's a lot of fun playing this guitar, Ryan. <laughs> Back to you, Jason Thomas. Well, I was just saying, so like to get it straight, like so basically that V-class allows, it's like you were saying that the thing about jumping into a pond, but it's more like jumping into the pond and having nothing get in the way mm -hmm. of, the, the, of the ripple. So, so the when, you're, when you're using uh, multiple strings, that that those those back tones, those things that are hitting in the way, the vibrations are actually in tune with each other instead of being blocked. Exactly, I, I there's pick, an in tuneness is what we yeah, like to say. It's, it's, the in tuneness. It's in tuneness. In tune, in tuned, in tuned to the the vibrations. Well, it's themselves. interesting because people talk about like intonation, and yeah. everybody immediately kind of thinks about like, yeah, I got my electric guitar adjusted, but that's compensation. <laughs> yeah, that's not really necessarily intonation. intonation yeah. And so the guitar itself isn't the where the bridge is and where the where the nut and the scale length hasn't changed anything with this. It really has to do with the way that the the body resonates. Mm -hmm. um, another way to look at it is if you were like on an exercise ball, you know, one of those those balls yeah. that you work at at the gym, you're trying to rock back and forth on that, you're going to be all over kind of in a, going in a bunch of different directions. Now, I mean, again, there's a lot of inherently cool things about, you know, yeah. the dissonance in that. It's rad, you know, I mean, it's something that we're all used to. But when you're kind of talking about the way that the sound wave moves in this guitar, it's more like being on a teeter-totter where there's a yeah, center and it's you're, actually you're, rocking back yeah, and forth and it's more uniform. Got it. And so like you were saying, that that pad, those those notes that are running together are actually more harmonic effectively. Or vibrating at the same yeah. frequency. Not well, fre frequency, but vibrating yeah. in the same, there's nothing blocking it to, to, to send it in different directions. Well, everybody's, the everybody's played in a, yeah. a guitar. Those who have played guitars know you play in an E chord and then you play a D and there's just, subtly just a little bit of difference in tuning there and then if you go up the neck and you're playing like open here, let me turn turn this up if you're playing like a first position chord up you were going to expect a little bit of you know variation and so you might bend the string just a little bit you i mean almost subconsciously like for a player like you you'd probably just compensate a little bit while you were doing it but now it's just it rings so clear pretty cool man you know and it's just you know playing music is a lot of fun so having a a tool that continues to enhance that enjoyment you know it's it's part of the fun of working where i do and 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 this has really been an exciting kind of adventure that's new for the company it's really and cool what great fun hanging out with you and jay at the factory a couple weeks ago you know i must say for uh, all of you out there that are possibly going to visit san diego make taylor guitars one of the go-to destinations yeah, for us. a tour for the sure. tour is so cool, and one of the most, if you're very kinesthetic like I am, I, I feel things and I react, I freak I out. I've never heard of music. Uh, really? Yeah, I think so. Very Ooh. good. Keep going. Sorry, I don't want to I'm scoring my five point whiz now! <laughs> so here's the thing. When I was walking through from room to room with Jay, the temperatures change, the humidity changes. It's so cool. It's so cool to feel it. I don't know. That affected me, man. I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm, I'm like that. I, I, you know, if I walk from a room that's like 16, or I'm going to jump back. in there. Actually, the whole place is controlled, and what you were feeling was going outside and then coming back in and ha having the same environment. I'm such a sucker for placebo. I don't know. I, I remember, I remember feeling a humidity difference. Maybe not a temperature difference, but mm -hmm. certainly. Well, I mean, I guess like a thickness or a, or an airiness from room to room. Allow me to put on my tour guide hat. I do actually do tours from time to time, and if you come down, perhaps you might get me. Uh, as the tour guide part of the build of our guitars comes from a consistency basis and so when you're working with wood that's like a natural you know uh, a living organism that has cells you have to control the environment that it's in because if you build in one environment that's extremely dry and one environment that's extremely wet you're going to come up with two different completely different animals you know mm -hmm. the, the guitars that you build even though they're exactly the same are going to be totally different so when you come around the factory actually you're what you were probably feeling is uh, more along the lines of a consistency, maybe in the front, you know, when we're in the front or the, the air we're not in the production, but when yeah. you're on the production floor, it's actually it's regulated controlled. quite aggressively. <laughs> How rad does that guitar look hanging in the, the room right now, guys? Looks good on you, though. How are you? How you doing? I'm doing great. Also, we have something else to talk we about We got a today. few things to talk about. Yeah, we do. We really do. You know, I, I, I want to, I just want to do the, the, the the tour, the mm -hmm. next time I come to Taylor, I want you to do the tour. Okay. I will. I you know I had a little bit of red carpet treatment when I went there. They totally treated. Well, he's me. a rock star, you know. Well, that's very well. Thank you. Not really. I'm getting maybe not. 
But no, I wanted to say it was some, one of the best cups of coffee I've ever had was uh, in the, the Taylor this Common Room. This is true. Yeah. This is true. That machine, you guys have a really nice machine. Yeah, it gets me to work every day. So good for you. <laughs> you know, we also are getting big some loves. People. I want to start the big loves. What were we going to well, say, well, man? Well, a couple things, but we are say giving away things. we are giving away a beat buddy today. We're giving um, away a beat buddy right now. Yeah, yeah. So basically, Mike has a, a question for you. So you guys put that question or the answers into the comments, and we will uh, pick a pick a winner off of. Uh, we're drawing your name out of a hat. We're gonna yeah, try you to know write what? Stuff down. That's going to be a little bit difficult. So yeah. here's what's going to be interesting about this evening. Since we have the lovely. Uh, Luxury of being around the Taylor family and boy oh boy hello to you. I'm Mike Rudrello and that's Jason Thomas, Mr. Cthulhu. What do you call him? You say man in chief? Arma, what do you what's your I say Cthulhu in chief, yeah, but well, it's alright. It's, it's Mr. Day Wright. Hello out there. What's up? We're gonna see you once like in a while Cthulhu. now, but check this yeah, out. Cthulhu. This beat buddy can be yours this <laughs> evening. And here's what I was gonna say, what might be interesting. How many of you are gonna get the right answer and write it in the comments? At the end of this episode, one of y'all is gonna get the Beat Buddy Pro. This is an expensive piece of gear. And listen to him. This is Angie! Angie! Oh, feel the grooves of the Angie beat right there. So, I probably should stay in context right now, and because uh, I want I want to give some beautiful love to Dave Gifford and Steve Moore. That's so right. bad. Happy birthday, Steve Moore. Hi, Steve. Yes, and a little bit of belated love to Ravi. The you know here's just happy birthday, Ravi. Everyone happy. out there in the world, who's he wishing happy birthday to? A fantastic band called Tap Water. Both guitar players, uh, banjo player, lead guitar player, Tapwater, kick-ass band out of uh, Portland, Portland, Oregon. It's their birthday week, and it's Steve Moore's birthday. We love you, Steve-o. I love you, baby. That's right, Paul Tuckett loves you, too. All right, so back to the beat, buddy. <laughs> this, right? That's you, pretty cool. I have were, one. I know. You were the one that got me very interested in, in it. And then, well, I'm glad, and then that, I'm I glad that that worked out. That's awesome. You, you're actually... It's very, now that it's dawning on me, between uh, you getting me interested in the Beat Buddy and mm -hmm. then you helping out with Taylor, I think Ryan's basically a partner of the show, ladies and gentlemen. The ninth member. We're working on the contracts right yes, now. Yes, it's, it's anyhow. Heavily debated right now. Everybody, because I know I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm excited. I'm looking at, we got, uh, we got a decent amount of uh, followers or viewers right now. And they want us to play. So they let's start playing. Everybody's, yeah. yeah. Just play. Everybody yeah. wants to play. play. All right, so they don't want us to give away a B-Buddy? We will. But let's do, let's start playing first. Start I'm going to, I'm going to take, this is Angie. You want me to do something a little bit more rocking? No, it's fine. But I'm going to, I'm going to show the, this guitar right here.
down to A minor love right there. I wanted to, I wanted to land the chords, but we'll, we'll, we'll the next no. jam that we'll, we'll, we'll throw it out, man. We'll, we'll do some jam. I'm digging it. it sounds man. really good. That's a cool sounding guitar. Good pairing here. Yeah, this I'm, noticing, yeah, I'm, I'm noticing a very good pairing. That's also an, another interesting pairing about that too. Do you know the? I do. I can tell the, you right now what they what, are. What's so special about these two particular guitars? Geographic. Geographic proximity yeah. is, is uh, very, very, yeah. They're both <laughs> San Diego companies. So, uh, yes. Yes. Hey, I gotta um, say, quick word, sorry Aztec fans. I, uh, oh, yeah, really? You know, the yeah. little sports? That's yeah, probably a sports. There's always sports first thing. on the Speaking show. of San Diego's, what do you yeah. Got? What are you gonna say? What happened? Well, the oh, we Aztecs keep... were in the, in the, uh, the... In the tournament, and uh, you know, big Aztec fans out there, and I'm, I, there's maybe somebody out there going, "No, don't say anything right yeah. now." <laughs> Spoiler! Ah! <laughs> Spoiler alert! Yeah. Um, but anyway, so like getting back to uh, giving away a beat buddy, I noticed a lot of you guys are commenting like you'd love a beat buddy. Well, you can win one tonight, and we're gonna give one away. What? I'm ready. Hey, so here's the other cool thing, guys. We're not gonna make you wait three or four weeks like we did uh, a few months ago. We're giving it away tonight, <laughs> and this is how Let's we do, do it. This. You have, I'm pretty sure, about 25 or 30 minutes to figure this out. Are you ready? A little suspense. Uh, somewhat. I'm holding for suspense in case you couldn't tell him. Who invented theory? Yes, theory. music theory. Who invented music theory? I'll accept a couple different answers. Get your Google fingers rolling. <laughs> there's not, there's, there's not many, there's not many answers. There's one main answer. Okay. Mm. Einstein. And 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 if you're wondering what what Stephen is Hawking. Stephen Hawking? He's like, why is it <laughs> why is it got to be like a loaded question? It's not a loaded question. If you know anything about uh, stuff, you'll you'll understand my my double inquiry there. Hmm. Okay. Is that double a, double inquiry. Yeah. It's like a double rainbow. Pattern. Almost. Yeah. Does that have the rock in it? Yeah. You got a telly too. I got We're a telly both too. We're playing tellies I and tailors. Are you kidding? Tellies and tailors, Are you baby. Kidding me? Episode fifty. Oh, I feel like a woo girl. Yeah. Cheers. And by the way, this is a. Uh, people are asking. This is a. Uh, That's a GS, GS Mini. GS Mini E, e base. <laughs> e base. It's kind of. It's actually I'm already, pretty I'm already, I'm a, freaking cool. I think I hit. Just so you guys know. I hit mic zone. You're in my side. Okay, well, let's just rock. But don't. Isn't that rad? Yeah. Taylors and Tellies? I know. Taylors and Tellies. Are you kidding? With Iconic. Uh, just a little quick thing about the bass right there. So that's the GS Mini E bass, another Andy Powers creation. Uh, remarkably loud and fun to play guitar that's also travel size. So you can actually hang out around the campfire and be heard if you're a bass player, which which very this suddenly happens. makes me think that it's a terrible idea. <laughs> <laughs> what a small scale length, though. Like, what's the scale length? Is that like a get less pulse? Yeah, scale it's a length? very. It's uh, twenty four and three quarters. Yeah, it's yeah. it's in that area. Um, the the magic behind that is actually Play the strings. Yeah, Jason, give us a... Here, give us a little... Let's, uh, you want, you want they don't fun? want us to talk. They want us to play. Yeah, here. they want to hear music yeah. for sure. Most of them. Jason, go, go. But E just ain't. Hey, uh, how's the how? We got that just nice. Play uh, Punk Rocky. Oh, you can. So this is Jason Thomas on the GS Mini. GS Mini bass. GS Mini E bass. The GS Mini E bass. E represents the electronics in it. Got the ES2 in that bad boy. That sounds pretty mighty. That's got grind. Got a little stink on it. I feel like doing this. Oh, I'm playing it too. Get the little stink face. Just the. Should I do like a rap about Andy? I don't think so.
That was some. <clears throat> Dude, there's nothing like going for it on a telly. I mean, I know, it's, just like, it? just... it's a lot of fun, yeah, totally. I just... once, like, I, it... once I got this guitar, I, I put down my other electrics, I swear. I... Really? Is yeah. That really I mean, good? I really have been playing I, this oh, actually, like, well, for like over really. a year and a half. I think. Thank you, Jr. Every time I play this guitar, I think of Jr. Robison. And your telly's <laughs> made of pine, man. It is made of uh, is um, empress wood. Empress it's wood. actually uh, it was the tele televersary, 60th anniversary of the Telecaster, and this is made of empress wood, so it's extremely light. Got some uh, Seymour Duncan quarter pounders in it, so it's got a little bit thicker tone too. Little little customization again. Jr. You're my boy. And, uh, you know, and this thing, once That's I got it good. home, it's just, you know, aside from playing that thing as long as I could, that uh, K14, once I had it, I didn't stop playing that. But uh, I mean, uh, Ryan, I honestly, think... Honestly, not just, like, saying, because I love me some Taylor, but uh, seriously, that guitar, you can't put it down. You know, speaking of the Taylor, and I am having a great time on both guitars tonight. It's, uh, it's... It's a lot of fun. This is playing, fun. Uh, yeah. Playing uh, this Hanging and out. that. Hanging out with you guys? I... I Said it the last time I was here, but I've known these guys uh, longer than I'd like to admit, actually. Huh. Met both of them in high school, and uh, Jason and I play in bands together. Manganista, actually, Manganista Motel Blackouts, everything that we listed. Blue Sky Flu, except for Sarah Mesra, although I have played. You have before. played in Sarah Mesra, <laughs> just not currently not playing in Sarah Mesra, so. What was that, man? That's all right, I blew didn't, it. Didn't have the uh, Don't switch pull on that. Pop, pump me. I have, you, you got me muted? The base. So, uh, the base. yeah, so it's it's always fun to be on this show because uh, I love these guys. You know, these are old these, these are old friends here. Been able to uh, make it so we get to play some cool guitars and and uh, who could ask for anything more, right? Who can ask for anything more? <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead <laughs> keep, it, keep it muted. <laughs> Got it. Play something, right? Turn up that volume a little bit. I want to point out some features of this guitar in particular. This is uh, the K14 Builder's Edition. When we were, we've initially started putting the V-Class into th uh, four guitars uh, that were already in production. The 914, which I've been playing, uh, the K24 CE, which is an Alcoa guitar. Uh, and Am I supposed to keep playing my guitar? Yeah, you can, please, please, I hope so. Always keep playing. And. Uh, the K24, the 914, we have a presentation series uh, that was uh, African Ebony and Sinker Redwood. And then there's this Builder's Edition. This is kind of like the uh, director's cut. Andy Powers went crazy with des genius design on this guitar. There's no hard edges. I mean, Mike, tell me about what you're feeling there. I feel nothing but smoothness. If this was a car, it would be a Lamborghini. This, it, it's a Lamborghini guitar. I don't know it's if I'm Lamborghini. getting that now. What's going on? That my guitar? Yeah. Uh, so. Are we good? Okay. Nacho Bel Grande. There's also the uh, cutaway on this on this guy right here. We better. Yeah, the yeah. cutaway is quite exquisite and a, a very new angle. Yeah, I think, so there's right? no shoulder. Normally, if you're looking at a cutaway right here, there's going to be a bit of a shoulder. Uh, I see he it. engineered it so that it was actually smooth, smooth in this area there. right here, so you can get access. Uh, yes, what angle, Dave, would you like? Is because that good right there, there? It looks like. There's a, even a cutaway on the cutaway, which I've always been impressed with. Show them the back. That that inlay in the back is gorgeous too. There's a cutaway on the cutaway. That sounds like a pop song. There's a cutaway. There's on the a cutaway. cutaway. A finger rest on the cutaway. On a cutaway. But it just makes the guitar fun to play. You play it. Wow, well, look at that. You come just, up with even more. even touching it, it's like. <laughs> this is is this where we're patting each other on the back too much, Jason? Oh, uh, I don't know. No. Maybe. In addition, the last thing I'll point out with this guitar is it's got what we call a silent satin finish. This so, so it's a, not just a satin finish, and we're not talking about a full gloss, you know, that that has all of that um, mirror kind of look to it. What this does is it doesn't squeak. So as you get you're ah. playing and you're kind of in a studio, you got a high, you know, very high fidelity microphone. What you're not going to get is your hand squeaking on the guitar because this finish is kind of in almost the middle of the road between our gloss 
and our satin finish, it actually is uh, just doesn't make any sound as it rubs against your body. So not only does it look delicious, but it uh, doesn't make a sound. You look great with it, by the way. Just... This thing's rad, man. I have to say I've enjoyed watching him play it because, you know, I know, like, giving him the opportunity to kind of play it a little bit. There's this, like, aha moment when you play the guitar. It, like, it's not immediate because you're not coming in and just, like, banging, you yeah. know, a really heavy chord on it. What you're looking for is the... the it's so strong in the subtleties and... Uh, it plays so it, it plays so nicely that the more you do it, it actually affects the way that you're attacking the guitar and, and uh, for the better. You're 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 not compensating for, for, for notes that you might have just not felt like that you were gonna have them when, when they were there. So is anybody? There's a volume up on yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Is anybody writing in the comments about the answer of? Uh... I did see one. Answer, yeah. There's a lot. There's I a few. Know. I can't scroll. People are in there. Also, I also put the question. So the, in the way it's gonna work too. is that we're gonna put. Uh, we're supposed to put all of your names in a hat and then draw a name. Uh, it's. It, we might have to. You might have to watch us do. Uh, well, I think once we once watch we, us cut up a bunch of pieces of paper, and you're going to watch us write all your names, it's going to be kind of frustrating. But hey, it's going to be worth it. I think you're going to keep your viewership up that way. Well, yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. I'm no it's scientist or anything. Yeah. Yeah, well, this is a wonderful piece of gear. Yeah. You know, without. See, here's what I was thinking. Since we don't have the extra person here to uh, to actually write those names on the piece of paper, I was thinking whoever this is just an idea is no, don't do it. You saying don't do it? No. We'll okay, figure, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure we'll get it figured out. You'll, you'll we have, sure we're gonna have a section oh, where we're so, gonna play oh, the music. So somewhere. ask them. Well, yeah. it, but that's not giving them some fair warning. If I give them some warning, they have some strategy. As far as what? No, 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 no. I no, did no, see no. at least one right answer. No, there, there's been a few. Is there? there? Yeah. You know, Ryan, yeah. this guitar. This is the. This is one of the nicest. This is. I want to be very careful with what I'm saying right now. I care about my experience trying and playing this thing. And what I ultimately would like to convey to Ryan and our audience right now, and especially Jason Thomas, because uh, he, he never takes me that seriously. <laughs> he just um, believes me. He just believes me. <laughs> when I say, come on, man, we're going to do it. Jason's like, yeah, I think we can do it. Mm -hmm. But uh, what I really really feel uh, this, I, I feel like Lars Ulrich now. What, you know what, like when Metallica goes on the road, uh, a lot of serious things happen. Uh, anyhow, this, that, that was a this bad. That's really deep. That was, a, that bad, was a really bad impersonation. That was a bad but I, Which I appreciate, actually. That was, uh, uh, I think it made it better. <laughs> you think it made you know, it better? I think it to, made it better. To blow a Lars Ulrich impression is probably a cool thing. Uh, this guitar fucking rules. It, it is the stratus. <laughs> Out of every guitar that I've played, I've been playing uh, since I was 12 years old. Started playing what, 1988? I've been playing what, 31 years. Uh, this is the first acoustic, ladies and gentlemen, that I have played where it's the be all end all. Uh, in the idea that you know how to lay a chord and be very conscientious, conscientious. What's the? How do you say? Conscientious. Thank you. When you when you have He's that. Accompaniment. He plays guitar. <laughs> but listen to that, right? You can hear there's there's these, the guitar will decide. Oh, you're in the key of A minor. Well, we're gonna bleed. We're gonna put a minor third under you. Oh, I want Dorian on you. But anyhow, check it out. Trippy that I went major. I like how comfortable you are up there. Well, 
that's the thing, Rye. I'm I, I'm actually delivering a, a pretty god darn good performance right now. You are. Be, be, thank you. I'm not stroking myself. This is about where You're doing my, a hell of a job. Mike. Where my mind is right now because of this instrument. I really feel where like there's this this guitar gives you some focus. Yeah. It's it's a, it's a new experience. I mean, really, th this is a. If I play a little slower, maybe our audience can. Hopefully, it, I mean, it's a different experience because I'm piloting it, well, so I'm play, the one feeling it. Well, just play one note and just let it ring. You can go out and have a bite of lunch and come back, and it's still it's still going. I had to. I had to do it. <laughs> no, I had to do it. Up version of this. Just keep going, man. Keep going. Shit. Anyhow. That's right where it's at, right there, those open chords. The, I mean, you know, like. Bad play, no talking. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it's, a, it's the constant. Check this out, right? It's the constant play. All those intervals. I mean, it's like a screaming chord, right? I mean, let me let, let's let's actually take a one next level. Let's get rid of the the fan in here. We we keep a fan in here on light so it doesn't smell like a locker room. But I turn it off because now all we hear is a little bit of that. But you know, here we you know let, let's count the hairs. It's still going. I mean. Still there. <sighs> Pretty amazing. I just have it going through the mic. Yeah, it's just the the mic. <laughs> I'm speechless. Yeah. I, I I'm I'm looking for a compliment right now for the for the company, <laughs> or I just want to reach out and say, uh, Andy, you, you you know what's up, brother? This is a the raddest acoustic I have played, and uh, I care about the things that I play. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to get my hands on that, actually. actually. Oh, boy, yeah. oh, boy. <laughs> the Silent Santa, man. Mm -hmm. I was trying to get a little bit of Al Miola going. Watching Jimmy play this is really something. Be red, yeah. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, I need a beer. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's, you want to? Uh, I want to hear some. Talk a little uh, manganista. Yeah, let's, let's talk I was just saying manganista. Let's talk, let's talk a little manganista. So, uh, Ryan and I are in a band together called Manganista. And, yeah, this uh, we, is that. We have part a of the few show uh, like. albums out. We can show this album. One. Shooting at the Big Bang themes uh, seems. <laughs> and I think say that say that one more time. Shooting at the Big Bang <laughs> seems. Yeah, and then also we have another vinyl out. Uh, Oop, that's unsteady. I always like to show off the uh, Matt. Oh, the, the yes, the uh, much the, love uh, to Matt Ray and his creative genius. But we do have the uh, orange vinyl, and you can get you that. Know, all the kids are playing vinyl these days, and I, folks. I'll, I'll all of the, the kids. Uh, I'll put the uh, 
thing in the, the section how to get that in the links. It's uh, quasirecordings.com. And we are available streaming live on uh, Spotify these days. Spotify and, and also Apple Music. iTunes and all the rest of those those things too. Mm -hmm. um, also, we're gonna probably try to you're gonna try to do a song. Well, I thought we were gonna play. A... We're gonna play. Yeah, we should, uh, we're gonna play that, and then maybe we can get that. So, so those of you that know, we are still giving away the Beat Buddy. Um, I pinned the question into the uh, comment section, so and what I see a lot of people. Again? Uh, who invented music theory? Ah, yes. Yes. So you that's in there, and a lot of people no, are putting. I don't know the answer. I do. Putting, I, putting I, it in there. You better hope you. so. I yeah. would hope so. And yes, uh, Andy Powers rules. <laughs> yes, he obviously does. <laughs> does anyone um, out there want me to take my hair clip out? No, I don't think so. I hope not. <laughs> so, no, I won't so. take my beard clip out either. Yeah. Do you do you put oil in your beard? Uh, yeah, I, I you know got to put some product in it. It's it, otherwise <laughs> it just gets all like Zach Galifianakis, which is a word wow. actually. Yeah. Is that it? Galifianakis. I could describe it. Yeah, describe yeah, it. Yeah, I, I very quickly. That would be a funny, yeah. funny Halloween for you. Dye your the beard baby red and everything. Yeah, put the baby on the, the, the oh, yeah, so do a character of Zach Galifianakis. Yeah. I can walk around with two ferns, I guess. You're gonna have, yeah, I can have Carlos. a fern on either either He's side of really me. And, the baby's and, Carlos. <laughs> yeah, and, and Carlos. Yeah, I have Carlos with me. Two ferns, and I just ask people a lot of questions. Yeah. So, Ryan, let's talk about your bands, dude. Yeah, your let's. Your bands are kick-ass. And as I'm asking questions about bands, uh, since the audience doesn't get too freaking say, shut up and play, and we love it. We love that you're telling us what to do because we're listening to you. We are trying to. Every time I talk about a band, like a Manganista riff, you gotta show a Manganista riff. Show me a Manganista, a Manganista riff. riff. Do it now! On the spot. And I've seen Matt Ray go, right? Does he do this shit? Does he do that? No? Yeah? I wish I knew the lyrics I would sing right now. help assist on that song? Well, it's all, that, that's I an mean, arpeggio right there. So all the credit goes to Matt, a lot of the credit goes to Matt Ray. I mean, it's all of his brainchild. He'll come with the idea and a pretty good idea of how he wants to hear the song. And then, but then there's a really good collaborative point where it's introduced to me and Jason and Dusty. And uh, we kind of figure out where we fit in the song and how it works for us too. And so there's a good, you know, it's it's actually a really good collaborative effort based off of a very clear idea from what Matt was hoping for. So he's, you know, it's a good team effort with a with a good leader, as mm -hmm. far as I'm concerned. Oh yes, I agree. Good leadership. I noticed you you mentioned Dusty. Dusty. Yeah, I want. Hi, to, Dusty. Yeah, what up, Dusty? Uh, so out of the four bands that I've mentioned, you got Manganista, Motel Blackouts, Sarah Mesero Band, and the Dirty Elves. The Dirty Elves. <laughs> Blue Sky Flu. Blue Sky Flu. Get it right. So out of those, God. I do it on purpose, man. Jerk. I do it on purpose, man. I do it on purpose for you, Steve Anderson. So uh, out of these four bands, how many bands does Dusty play in? Dusty's in Two. Manganista and Two. the Sarah Muzzle Rope. Uh -huh. right? And then we also play with Jeff Newman, who may or may not be watching right now. Hello, Jeff. Motel Jeff. Blackout, Blackout guys. Josh Faye. Brian Hogard, Motel Blackout guys. And me. Hello, Sarah and Mario. It's all. Yeah. It's, a, <laughs> it's like a collective. So basically, out here, and we all kind of have known each other for a long, long, long time. And it's a bit of a collective. So we all kind of work. Utilize Jason's jam room is, a, is always a primary factor. Yeah. Um, utilization of that over the years. Uh, but at the same time, it's been fun because we've always kind of worked around and played, you know, pieces here and pieces there. Fusebox has always been a major, major factor in all of it. I hope that we're the band that you make fun of. And which is strange, too, because you are in a lot of these bands as well. You're in Motel Blackouts and Manganista. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, the, Ladies and gentlemen, and th this was a uh, th this unfortunately <laughs> this was a, a dynamic that I wasn't really thinking about. It, it's kind of cool and fresh that it dawns on me that actually yes, our co-host Jason is uh, very busy along with so, uh, you know Ryan and, and a few other people. And you were not you we were talking about this tonight. I'm like holy shit, Jason's actually in your band. He's in two of your bands. He's in all of the bands, most of them. You're in <laughs> three of the bands. Wait, <laughs> three, three, yeah. <sighs> 
yeah, it's it's you know, it's well, it's, it's worked out. We're we're all old friends, and you know, I mean, uh, some of us, Matt and I, have been friends since elementary school, and then we started playing Please, play with uh, with Drew. Kind of reminds uh, me of sharing Kent. the same sleeping bag. Shout, <laughs> shout out to Abu Dhabi, Drew Kent, and uh, Drew Kent. And uh, when when Drew moved away, Jason moved moved right jumped, into the jumped right jumped in. right in, and and uh, well, eight years later we had this album right here. Yeah, right there. Eight we years. Had that eight years. It took us to do this. Well, I actually started because before Drew left, record, recording. Yeah, you guys. Drew was actually on. I this started album. to record you. That's true. And then he left, so I'm like, all right. And here you are. <laughs> here I am. And here we are. And here we are. After all of these years. So no, yeah, it's, the it's consensus great. is they want to hear us play. Well, so let's do. let's yeah. play. Do you want to do? Uh, That's uh, "Do It, it Again" by Steely Dan. Lay, lay it down, Mike. Give us a key. Well, we already did A minor. Uh, let me. Let's let me. Do, uh, I'll take the solo on this one here. Let's give do. It, uh, give it to me. Let's do the old uh, C. I'm just, just gonna do C7, C9. Okay. You like that amp? Yeah, that's a little it's fun to play out of. Little twenty watt Friedman. That's their uh, that's their first amp that they put out with a circuit board. So oh, okay. uh, quite quite the punch. Uh, a circuit board, uh, a simple clean. A uh -huh. simple clean means one knob and a little a little switch that makes you go flat right one or right two, and a kick ass direct box. Mm -hmm. So the direct box is, uh, I believe, voiced over uh, out of a like a 412, okay. like a, like a vintage 30 with 412. Yeah, it's got a really nice full sound. I I came in tonight, and, you know, it was uh, his pedal board, which is always kind of fun to experiment with something new and. And uh, what, do you, what is your pedal board, Ryan? Is it just reverb and delay? No, my pedal board, I mean, I go wah. I don't like a lot of things, and I don't go with a lot of effects. It's mostly different drive channels. Are you my, still using that drive pedal? Yeah. The, the uh, radial, the, the radial tri or plexi? A uh, radial bone tone. The bone tone. Yeah. And that's got a lot of nice features. You got two gains mm -hmm. and a boost. Yeah, it is. It's, it's well. I play most both of my amps. I play with some Fender amps and their single um, channel. Amps. Your Vibrolux is so bomb. Yeah, it they, they works really well. It pairs extremely well with this guitar, and, uh, and so I really dig the tone. I've had it for a really long time and just manipulated it over the years. Cool. Um, and so it's delay and and uh, 
a couple of drive channels, mostly. I prefer overdrive to distortion. I'm not, you know, that thick of an overdrive guy. Is that too much gain for you? Or, I mean, no, it's fine. Speaking it's actually so you, cool. So that's a it's, good... Well, it's got a lot of feel, so I can Show them real the... quick. Do one of your licks. By, oh. by... Beautiful. Take take our verb off. Like, like, oh, to the yeah. verb here? All the way off. Let, let's hear this. Let's hear the... Yeah, baby. Is that, the bout? Is that the bout? It's right there where it starts to break up. You get a little bit fast, but then you can come back off. You know, That's... and get that, get a little bit of pop, but at the same time, not have it just be too, too super over the top. You know? Play a, we'll play a Meganisa song, and then you, you, you guys have about 10 minutes. I gotta go pee. Maybe 10 minutes. I'm just thinking do that, like play the Meganisa song now. Well, I gotta do the, well, I gotta do the, that's how we're gonna tally. I'm just gonna hang out too. here and talk to you folks. Yeah, yeah, so. Would you mind wait. if I? Well, yeah, I, we can we can do the song. Uh, a, hold on a sec. Get us a beat. We, since we're running normally an hour, and um, due to us staying very hydrated, so we look decent on camera for you, and also drinking <laughs> beer, I usually just, have to go pee, and I think you've noticed in the last couple weeks that, that if we do something, I tend to take off and go pee. So I hope you're not insulted by that. Well, because let's that's do, just let's set us up with a beat, and you can go do that. But we're gonna, well, or actually, you guys get the uh, the so giveaway all question. All stay right now. I, all Who. I can think of yeah, is the Mister Who pee. song. We yeah, can play, do that. And we can Mr. come Who. back, yeah. and then right. Well, we just give everybody like another. This is your uh, last Steve chance Rock. to answer I the uh, all, all the theory question. The theory question. The Theory Thursday yeah. sweepstakes yeah, question totally to uh, yeah. um, it's, just, it's more of a blues. Kind can of you play the music? Down quick? Um, yeah, it's your last chance to get the uh, Theory Thursday uh, sweepstakes question to win the beat buddy today. Was who invented music theory? I'm gonna tally it up right now, and uh, we'll be giving that away at the end of the show. So uh, get him in there. Get him in there. So this song, I guess we'll preface this. This is uh, this is off uh, this. The album's right in front of yes, you. Yes, this is uh, off of the split single with our good friends Unsteady. Um, this song is called Mister Who, and it's uh, by Manganisa. Uh, Ryan McMullen is in there. Our Hi. friends, uh, Dusty. So you can always pick this up on uh, iTunes, easy enough. But this is the song Mister Who. Manganista.com, M-A-N-G-A-N-I-S-T-A.com. You can also purchase it there uh, or purchase. It there.
place Mr. Who Mr. Who Mr. Who Mr. Who Mr. Who Mr. Who, Mr. Who. Mr. Who. Yeah, dude. Jesus. Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> We're back. So, yeah, another one of ours. The clapper. You got to get that going. Um, yeah, so the theory question, or the Theory Thursday sweepstakes question, you know, um, was who invented music theory? Now, there's a lot of different answers, and I'm not sure which one Mike is looking for. Um, and I'm, and I hope to God Mike is right Chris. on his answers too. Frank Zappa. <laughs> yeah, Frank Zappa should have been the right answer. I'll, I'll ex actually, I'll accept that answer. Just to tell you the truth. Um, Just good. Check one, two. Yeah, yeah you're good. All right. So, so uh, that was your time to get it in. You've got. Yeah, <laughs> nice Pat. I got my Very hair funny. all ready for this. <laughs> all right. Looks really good. Yeah, it looks cool. looks Thank looks you. terrible. Uh, yeah, so. Um, Mike, tell us, uh, we got, we got <gasps> a few people in. A little shout out to Faye Mo for winning the first Beat Buddy on Theory Thursday. Yeah. Who is the second winner? Jason, are you prepared to, like, check the count and... Well, I, I just need to know what answer you're looking for. The so answer I can... is Aristotle. Is that... Okay, and, and, and the second answer I'll accept is Aristotle and Plato. Plato was Aristotle's teacher. And they were the two gentlemen that came up with the plans of music theory within the Western tuning. Would you accept Aristotle Jr.? <laughs> Aristotle Jr. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. And, 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 you know, you have to, we also have a fan page on our Facebook called uh, the Patreon Club. I, I guess yeah, you could Patreon. say. Yeah, Patreon. People know, people know, Patreon patrons. Yeah, yeah. and if, I, so, I imagine you're, you know, know what that is. And that means that FAMO, Sherry Gilmore, and Alexander Fledger are already lumped into this, uh, this hat that mm -hmm. we're going to pull a name from. Yeah, so i got to so, see who actually answered the question correct. Did nobody answer the I question? I did see one. There was at the top, the top at of the, the show. Very beginning, yeah. So you're telling me out of uh, 30 minutes... That we have only one. A few one? other people uh, that guess, and they may may make their case. Uh, yeah, well, well, you know, there 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 there's not much of a case, ladies and gentlemen. Bob Dole. Bob uh, Dole. You know, there. You know, here's the thing. I I, I snapshotted and I snapshotted a picture <laughs> off Wikipedia, <laughs> and it will say. It will say. If you look under origin. That yeah, Aristotle there's... says right here on on Wikipedia says actually no that's that's a different uh... well because Wikipedia is always that's, the right yeah that's what's the the, the yeah. sources I usually re rely on talk a little Rolling bit Stone. more about other Rolling other Stone? other is philosophies <laughs> however uh, that's the answer that we are accepting this evening is so, Aristotle so someone was uh, 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 saying that it's uh, I guess uh, Guido D'Arezzo De, De invented modern music theory, but you were talking about music theory, so. I literally asked who invented music theory. Father Guido Sarducci. And Father Guido Sarducci is the correct answer. Back in the day, our scientists, <laughs> Aristotle and Plato, they were our musicians as well. So the answer that we are accepting, again, ladies and gentlemen, you have some time to write it in. It's Aristotle. Yeah. Our show is gracing you. Ten seconds. You know what? I will take. Uh, Looks like yeah. Mr. Jason Thomas is making an executive decision right now, combing the comments. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, well, okay, so Cthulhu or whatever. So that, that's that's Cthulhu, uh, yeah. Cthulhu. <laughs> so, so I will, I will take. As you say, Aristotle. I'm seeing people putting in Aristotle. Um, so who was it, the first to get that one in there? So I can't scroll. Oh, you can't. No. Yeah, I, I don't have <laughs> it, it. It. Yeah. Looks like a little bit of an. So I, 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 actually, I will <laughs> take. There's no hat with paper. No I will take anybody's answer 
from any ancient Greek philosopher or Mesopotamian. Well, I'm sorry. No, so, no, 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 no. So no, I will no, take no, that no, because no, no. I think we're a little unclear on exactly who invented music theory. So. Okay, so, well, well, yeah, well so, con so, considering your in that, particular uh, <laughs> inquiry, Jason, I think I'm going to go I ahead and... I think the and, answer and, is shut up and play your guitar. It's pretty much shut up and play your guitar, yes, yeah. It's <laughs> the the yeah. answer that we are accepting is Aristotle, ladies and gentlemen. This was a question that I thought to ask, and the answer is Aristotle. Okay. Yeah, so and that is that. The yeah. Very beginning. So, yeah. uh, you want to get back on these tailors of the tellies, baby? You oh. call it out, man. Flip ahead. You got a coin to flip? I grabbed this, and we were talking about playing a Manganista tune. Yeah, yeah. Which billowing one? the blather. Oh, I dig. So, uh, do we want to... It's going to be a kind of a... <sighs> Heavy blues, you know. You were talking moving out by Billy Joel. A little, little bit, the you know, good, good blues, uh, four four kind of thing. What's my tempo? Lay that uh, riff down. One two three. So well, I. One two three four. One two three four. So uh, you don't want anything swung, right? All right. Jason, uh, Jason, Jason's the back no. end. No, a little bit, a little bit more like a want to swan? bluesy punchy. No, it's more like, like a, like a, like a. Uh, yeah, maybe a little. Bit By the way, do you swan. like the shirt that? Uh, oh yeah. Jeff's wearing. Jeff's, Jeff's got a great shirt. Uh, Jason, what were you, what were you asking for? Oh, I said just, just kind of get it more straight ahead, and then. Uh, that's as straight as it gets. Yeah. Maybe slow it down just a little bit. Doesn't be so fast. Well, that's not as, I think a little bit. That's four on the floor. Sure. A little, little faster. I'll take you That'll somewhere do. else. That'll do. <laughs> I'll take you somewhere else. Take us somewhere else. Wheeling and dealing. Wheeling and dealing. I'm going to go ahead and roll some dice with the Prince and Red Hot Chili That might peppers. work. That, that'll probably be fine. You got you, you digging like 1999 kind of vibe, or you want to hear some when doves cry? I don't know, man. Well, that's what's fun I'm, about this beat, buddy, is that uh, you can experiment. You can experiment, and it looks like my card isn't working right now. It's kind of weird. There we go. Just got to give it a little bit of elbow grease. So, how about cream or diamonds and pearls? Cream. I want to be your lover. Kiss, Purple Rain, Raspberry. Remember, I can change the tempos. It's a blue. It's kind of a blues thing. So straight, you know, just just lay lay something down. We'll see what we got. I'm trying to get to the. So I chose a uh, Raspberry the Beret. I can't get in there. That should be fun. Like we'll pick it up I a little. Can't scroll back. Can't go back. I can't scroll. Back. Well, we're uh. Yeah. You want to jam? Yeah, let's uh a little bit. Sure, why not? That's Just fine. make it work. I, I will be seeing A little bit faster. Maybe. All right, this one's called uh, Billowing the Blather, and it is on, Does it Dusty is on this album right here. I'm sing too. Yeah. This is, it's on this album. That is on our full length album, Shooting at the Big Bang Scene. Shooting at the this Big Bang Scene. This is called Billowing the Blather. You're so singing, right? I'll sing it. Okay. Right. I'll try to get through it. Wow. 
monkeys on my mind won't quit, I'll make up ten and say. Right there. Dude, the guitar made it in for a, I know. a few bars. A little... That was totally rad, man. <laughs> Super cool. We were able to go. All right. I can't get to the earlier comments. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, hmm. So we may have to do it right after the show. Well, we're 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 pretty close to being done at the show. Uh, yeah. So here. so basically, uh, this is our first. Our first. This is our first V Class Rumble. Jason, how are you doing over there? What do you think of this, man? I think it's awesome. Man. Is it is yeah. it, is the is, the, is the things getting crazy? Are there there's more people involved? I know that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I, I yeah. <laughs> it's gonna have to. Uh, as far as the giveaway goes, I mean, it's gonna have to figure it out. Uh, you I know, can't... we're we're still getting new at this. Yeah. If, if anybody if anybody feels a little mistreated or if there, or if things feel unfair. Just write in the comments. <laughs> Don't blast the comments on this feed. Go to write us a private message. Jason and Dave and I care about you deeply. We want. We will take care of you. I can say that. But here's the thing: we are running on a team of four right now, including Mr. McMullen. <laughs> and we want to be fair. We want to have a good time. My, my contract with hasn't you. been signed. Yeah, it's so never been. Yeah. I'm more of a free agent at this up. moment. You this know, is yours. I'm interested. I'm, I'm checking it's, out. And here's the thing, Jason's going to, he, he's one of the most fair-minded persons I know. So if he, whatever name that Jason decides to choose, I assure our audience that it is a very fair decision. <laughs> well, so I'll, Mr. Thomas, come on, baby. Put it in this bag. Put it in the bag, Jason. Put it in the bag, and then we'll pull it. What's in the bag? We gotta see all the names. But I gotta, I gotta, I got some of them in already. Hey Mike, thanks for having me here, man. Hey Alex. Ryan, 
A special thanks to Mr. McMullen. I'm trying to learn that. I was playing this earlier and I just botched it every time. Pisses me off. <laughs> Is that Queensryche? No, it's Scorpions. Scorpions, thank you, okay. I'm... There it is, there it is, okay. Something about Dante Park? Then... Yeah, baby, V-Class Rumble! Ryan McMullen, thank you so much for coming on the show. Hey, thank man. you for being an advocate of the show. It's my And pleasure. helping us grow, yeah. you know, uh, you and, and your bands and your friendship and this guitar mean the world to me. Personally. I bet if I just had the guitar, you'd be stoked too, so. If it was just the guitar, <laughs> it'd be, it would be fine. You know, that I wanted to shed a little light and give a little songwriting credit. Was that A? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brian Hogart. A, Brian, man, great chord. Progression. Anarine. A yeah. to E minor seven sus four. That's that's a lovely change, my friend. That Ooh. would be the Motel Blackouts. Brian Hogard, the writer. I'm gonna give the old V. Are you, you're gonna sing that one? You're gonna were you gonna play yeah, it? We're gonna, we played it the last time, so I didn't oh. think we were gonna play Did it. Did we play Anarine last yeah, time? I think we, we played Anarine. I just last wanted time. to oh, show some love. Can. You know, speaking you of love, grab the other guitar. You know, oh. I think our audience saw. Uh, well, I know that our new Taylor friends probably saw uh, our intro. I want to say thank you so much, Dave Gifford, for doing a fantastic job on that new intro, bringing in the new Fusebox music. You're like, oh my God, what's this new music? What's this reggae funk? And then it gets all fuzzy. Yeah, that's Fusebox. That's Jason and Dusty and I. We're, we're using our music <laughs> in the intro as expected, but the, the graphics, the, the new vibe, Dave Gifford, thank you, buddy. Are we gonna do this? Are we closing out the show? Yeah, I think we can, we can close it. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it begins. <laughs> Those of you watching that know, no. So, why don't I'm we gonna, just do kind of instrumental? I won't sing. Sure. Because it also kind of lends to the right guitars. Up this, right up this guitar's So, alley. about the uh, Beat Buddy giveaway today, um, we will go back and I will post it in the comments. So, if you have made a comment, in the section, you will you will be aware of uh, what it is, and I guess we're gonna have to draw it. I mean, we're gonna have to draw it at some point. So mm -hmm. before I go on the show, before we end the show, so uh, we may have to we may have to give it away next week. Yeah, uh, yeah, we may have to actually do the actual drawing next week. That's You're not gonna be able to get it, or I can yeah. record it and upload it. There you go. Oh. Yeah, we can record the drawing. Well, uh, yeah. We can go back live. Yeah, we can go, okay, that, that, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back live, I guess, is what we'll end up doing. And, and once, we, once we figure out the, uh, the <laughs> way to get, because someone, someone did say Aristotle first yeah, at the top yeah. of the page. Well, you know what? Yeah. You know what? Well, then I'm gonna go ahead and say that they're the ones that deserve it, man. That's what I'm saying, they're gonna win it. Whoever said that one first up there, that was the first one that did it, well, I guess will be, well, be the thing. Well, then write it again. Introduce yourself. Well, how are they going to write it again? <laughs> it got, got so many things. You know, you, it would have been a good idea to figure this out. <laughs> well, of course it would have been. But that was the thing. We were supposed to have someone. The patrons got, uh, yeah, got so, three entries into that. I'll put it this way, guys. Okay? <laughs> yeah. If you if you join the Patreon, you're automatically in for the drawing. So that's that's the one way to do. So. Do we have any new Patreon? Uh, no. No? Yeah, we, we won't know until after. Yeah. Well, that's a little that's a little underwhelming. I was really, really hoping to give it away and say a name right now, and I guess due to what well, we we're working with, we can come back with, on. We can come back if Facebook. anyone. Facebook's limited. We can't go back. We can't go back the after the thing from where you pulled it out. In the comments. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I guess we will see you next week, and we will announce the winner as soon as possible. Well, we can go back live tonight. We can go back live. Go back live. Pull the. Yeah, I guess so, we'll so come it's back all, live in, a, all in about on the up, 10, 15 minutes. So it's all in the up and up with the giveaway. We're going to find out who said Aristotle first, and then we're going to pull the draw, and our, 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 we'll see who that is, and our patrons, our patrons are in that drawing, too. So it's going to be, we'll show all the names, put them in the hat so we can pull them so you know we're not, we're not doing anything shady. So you got that. So we're going to close out the show. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Wanted to thank Taylor Guitars. Yeah, thank for, you, Taylor. For, for you know, this wonderful instruments that we're using tonight. Also, iconic Ooh. guitars. Singer sound, beat buddy. Baby.
that we're giving Tenny's away that piece. and Taylor's, baby. Yeah. Look at me, I look crazy. The singular sound beat buddy that we're giving away the uh, beat buddy. <laughs> Mad Hatter guitar products. Kurt Mangan Strings, I Guitar like Tune-Up San Michael Diego, body right and now. also yeah. SWR Video Productions, Mr. Dave Wright. Yeah, uh, Dave! Hit that Patreon account, go to our website, yeah, TheoryThursday.com, yeah. buy some strings, buy a Beat Buddy, get 10%. Theory10 Theory 10 is, is your code. code to get 10% off uh, our we'll Beat Buddy. see you guys next week. Thanks, and everybody. Thank you for watching. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. It's Ryan, thank you so much for being on the show. And we'll see you soon again, man. I'm sure we will. Hell yeah. Let it go, baby. And uh, we, we got... I'm going to choose a different drum beat here. This is where it's going to get crazy. When Doves Cry. When Doves Cry by Prince. I don't... Really? Okay. Okay, let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> uh, Actually, that's... Uh, that well, ain't going to work. That's creative. Yes. Just let it happen.
to sustain. 